countdown to the November 8th election. Today, the U.S. Supreme Court stepped in, making a ruling on a case surrounding mail-in ballots. However, because the ruling didn't comment on the merits of the case, it's keeping an issue that many have had concerns about already still in the mud. See, the case surrounded mail-in ballots from Lehigh County. The justices threw out a lower court ruling allowing counties to count the undated or wrongly dated ballots. But the Department of State says it still does not impact the guidance for this upcoming election because all the justices said was that this previous case was moot. Yes. Well, confusing, right? We're going to get into this questioning the integrity of the process, maybe. There we go. We have team coverage. We are looking at that and other election related issues for you tonight. We're going to start with CBS 21's Michael Gorsegner, who is at a polling precinct in York County with the efforts to make the election fair. Michael. Ideally, transparency in the process will lead to more voter confidence, whether hitting the polls or mailing in that ballot. The Department of State making four changes since the May primary, but today's U.S. Supreme Court decision once again muddying the waters. The simple act of counting the vote no longer an easy task. It's all about transparency and education. In an effort to build confidence in the process, acting Pennsylvania Secretary of State Lee Chapman laying out the changes made since the May primary. But the four moves overshadowed by another high court ruling. I think that's absolutely the correct uh, decision by the court that is absolutely consistent with uh, Pennsylvania's election law. In a 7-2 decision, the high court setting aside the Third Circuit's ruling that undated mail ballots be counted. The ruling stemming from a lawsuit involving 257 undated ballots in a Lehigh County judge race back in November of 2021. When uh, undated ballots are counted, when the signature match is not utilized, uh, when drop boxes are not secured, uh, that's where I think folks ha rightfully have some, some concerns. We expect that counties you know, follow the law and follow our guidance. But in response to the Supreme Court's decision, the acting secretary of state biting back. After reviewing the judgment for just a few hours, the department deciding that because the case was deemed to be, quote, moot by the courts, the current guidance for counties to count undated mail ballots will remain in place. We expect counties to both follow our, our guidance and directives. It's really a case by case scenario, but in the event that a county does not follow our guidance, you know, the Department of State, we will evaluate that. If a law is followed, I think voters can have absolute confidence in the result on Election Day here. Keep in mind, these undated mail-in ballots accounted for less than 1% of all mail-in ballots across your county in the last election. So the numbers are still relatively small. However, any type of controversy between the two sides possibly leading to further litigation after this election cycle. In your county, Michael Gorsinger, CBS 21 News.